Today we're going to be increasing the blower speed in my BMW E36. We're going to do that for 15 bucks, but before we get started, head down, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, hit that like button, and leave a comment and let me know what you think by the end of the video. You're going to want to watch to the end of the video to be able to see the difference between the speed before the fix and the speed after the fix. All I had was a starburst wrapper and that's what we got to go off of. Here is the maximum blowing speed. We're going to drop it down to about half and then you see it's barely blowing out at all. So we're going to fix that here just relatively cheap and to be able to do that you need to change your cabin air filter. Now most people when they think of an air filter they just think of the filter in their engine uh, for the air going into the, uh, the engine but you also need to think about your cabin filter. Now your cabin filter is usually either located under your glove box or here in this BMW it's going to be located up under the glove box and behind the radio console controls. So to do that we're going to be taking off this black panel and that is going to be our first step. It's really simple. There's just a couple screws and then you simply just pull it and slide it out. Now the first screw is located right here and then we have a second screw located in the same position on the opposite side. Once the two screws are out you simply have to pull it off of the glove box and then you have to unhook one more thing. Zoom in here and just unhook the light from under the glove box and you should be able to pull it out with no problem. Be careful of any of the wires under here as you're pulling off this panel. Be sure not to pull any of the wires with it. Also, be careful of the air duct, which eventually we're going to have to be pulling off in a little bit. Next, you have to remove the cabin filter cap housing. Once you take that off, you're able to pull the cabin filter out, but you're not going to have enough space if you still have this duct in the way, and you also have to take off a piece of that electrical unit and move it up out of the way. So just to demonstrate that here, once you have that cap off, you can pull out the air filter and you can see how dirty it actually is and all the stuff built up on the bottom. So the air duct housing is actually held on just by one little plastic pop-in screw. You don't really have to do anything except maybe get a screwdriver up there and just pry it off. I did that without being able to film it just because of the tight area. But once you see what it is, you see that little hole in the uh, top right there that we were pulling off. And then you can see this little uh, plastic screw type nut. Just yank it out and you should be good to go. The next thing you have to pull off is this electrical housing. I'm going to pause it right here. You have to take a screwdriver and push it up between the, two, the side right here. And you can see once you do that, you see how these clips are, are connected. Once you do that, you're able to take out the cabin filter. Now, when I first did it, I did not take off the electrical housing, and you'll see that as I pull it out, it gets, it hits, and I basically just rip it all apart. But obviously, you don't want to do this with your new filter. So, lessons learned. When you do it, make sure you take off the air duct housing and also that little electrical unit, and you'll save yourself some headaches. So there you go. You see how dirty it actually was. You can compare it next to the clean one, check the dimensions, and all the little features on the edges. So now you have a mess to clean up. You might want to try to get all this stuff out before you put the new one in, just because you don't want all that dirt and debris getting up into your blower motor and eventually maybe even seizing it up or just blowing that stuff through your, your cabin. You're going to want to get a vacuum cleaner and just quickly vacuum up all the stuff that came out onto the floor mat or onto the carpet on the passenger side. And then you have also a mess on the inside you might want to clean up. Now to clean this, I put together a little tool with some wire and some shop towels. So you want to get yourself a long wire that you can stick all the way in where you're going to take that shop towel and wrap it around. Now when you wrap it around, you're going to want to put some tape on it to make sure it stays. And then maybe take some of the wire and poke it through the top and then bend it over so the towel doesn't come off as you pull the wire 
back out. You also might want to spray it down with some water just to get some extra uh, cleaning action going on. Once you feel that you've cleaned it out enough, go ahead and get your new filter and put it back up. Remember that the electrical box, you make sure that's pushed up out of the way. Take the filter and push it in as far as you can. Now you push it and you might get some resistance like this, but you have to keep pushing because you need to be able to put the cap back on. So you might be able to push it in all the way and then you still have this bottom lip that might be sticking out on the bottom. You're going to have to push it in even farther just because you'll see here in a few moments that you have to be able to put the cap back on and then turn the cap to be able to lock it in place. If you'd like at this time you can take that electrical box so you don't forget. Go ahead and slip the clips back on, give it a little tug and make sure it doesn't move. So when you put this cap back on, you have to make sure that the filter is pushed all the way in and pushed all the way to the left. Otherwise, this cap, the spikes on this cap will be hitting the filter itself. So you see this foam piece, you got to make sure that none of the foam piece is visible. So you see you just push it as far as you can and you don't see any of the foam. And now you can put the cap back on and then turn the knob at the top. Make sure that the air filter cap is on and tight. Next you have to put the air filter duct back on. Make sure this hole is lined up with a little screw, plastic screw. Plug in the panel light and then put it into place and then finally go ahead and screw it back in. Now to the favorite part of the video. I'm glad you stuck around. I'm going to throw some before and after comparisons at you. So here is after I fix the cabin filter. Here's the mid setting, and here's before. Here's the mid setting, it was barely even blowing. And here's the after I fixed the cabin filter, you can see it's quite a big difference. I'm going to go to the high setting and show you some before and after comparison. So here's after I fixed the cabin filter, it's about blowing out of my hands. And here's before, you can see it is blowing about as much as the mid setting is after I fixed the cabin filter. And again, here's after on the full setting. So hopefully you enjoyed this and you can fix your cabin filter in your own BMW. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, go down to the comments, let me know if this helped you out. Thanks for watching.